my name is Yalda and I'm the project manager. Okay, my name is Naum. Uh, I'm a software developer. Uh, I'm Jerish and um, I'm the visual designer in the team. My name is Matthew Park. I am a UBC student. My name is Haig Arman and I'm uh, playing the role of a UX designer. My name is Tyson Miller and I am the Director of Consumer Products here at Recon. My name is Glenn, I'm the Interaction Designer here at Recon Instruments. The ultimate goal for JET though is to not just provide, or to not just give data, to, but, but to provide contextually relevant information to a user. So what does a user want to see when they're actually on a bike ride? And like what types of information would really benefit them? Basically you guys are starting the planning and thinking about what that would be. The original goal was to not only plot where you went, but within that ride, um, like the next time the user goes on a ride, provide them you know, relevant information about that ride. Three of us, three designers in the team, came up with three design ideas, and we took the design ideas to Recon and asked them for their feedback. They picked a few points from each of the designs and said, oh, the slope from this idea is good, that other color is good, you know, and then we had to combine all these ideas into two. So we could test the two ideas and make sure which idea was chosen by the users. They ended up um, wanting us to pushing towards more of a, a simple design versus a more complex, futuristic um, design language. The biggest thing I realized was not Yes, there was obviously the constraint of the, the pixel dimensions, and that's definitely a constraint. But more so than that was the limited time that you have person's attention. And so we have to make sure that the information is seen and understood very quickly. And that was a huge challenge. Spend a lot of time doing a lot of mock-ups and use it for user testing. I think that's a, that's a good process in terms of um, getting to know um, how, what's what kind of videos are appealing to for uh, users? like the device knows what you want to know so um, for example it's going to be interesting while I'm riding a bike and all of a sudden I the device provides me with this information that oh you're approaching Cafe Artigiano I feel like as a team we've grown a lot as well. Um, we start to get closer as time goes on and then we start to build off each other's rhythms and then be able to see goals now clear. Everyone, at first everyone had a different idea what the project was going to be about but then as time went on we start to get one unified vision of this project and then once we got that one unified uh, vision of what the end product was going to be it was yeah it was fantastic. I think there was, there was a lot of like awesome exploration of ideas um, the couple times that we did come to the CDM campus, it was really awesome to see literally every all four walls in your room like plastered with notes, like mock-ups I did, your, your guys' mock-ups, ripping on those ideas, brainstorms, and you could totally see the process. It was really awesome to see. 